Hey y'all, welcome to guns.com. I'm Jackie and today I'm here to show you how to clean a Glock. Now before me, I have a Glock 19, but no worries if you have a different model. All Glocks break down the exact same way, so you can follow these steps for any model Glock that you happen to have on hand. Before we start cleaning, we're going to want to make sure we have all of the necessary tools. It's good to have some gun cleaner and gun oil on hand. Doesn't matter what brand you use, so long as it is made for guns. No motor oil, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm also mm -hmm. going to have some kind of cloth that I can wipe down my parts with. I happen to use an old t-shirt, but you can use a microfiber cloth or something similar. I also want a cleaning rod or boar snake which will allow me to get into the barrel of my gun, along with various size nylon brushes, and of course, plenty of cleaning patches. The first step in cleaning any gun is to make sure it's unloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the magazine and empty it if it's not already free of ammo. I'm gonna set it aside. With my slide locked back, I'm going to visually check several times that the gun is unloaded. Once I'm absolutely sure there are no rounds in the gun or chamber, I'm gonna let the slide down and begin the takedown process. To take down a Glock, I must pull the trigger, which is why we wanna be diligent about making sure there's no ammo around. With the gun cleared, we're going to point it in a safe direction and go ahead and pull that trigger. From there, I move my left hand to the rear of the slide because I'm right-handed and I'm going to apply some pressure pushing it slightly to the rear while I simultaneously pull down on the takedown lever with my right hand. I'm going to slowly rock the slide forward and off the rails, being careful not to slingshot it off the frame. From here, I can set the frame aside, go ahead and remove the guide rod and then the barrel. And now we have our four main components of a field stripped Glock. Let's start cleaning. I'm going to start with the guide rod. I take a cleaning cloth and just kind of wipe it down. You can also take a nylon bristle brush and give it a go if there's some extra gunk. And that's about it, it's good. Next, I move on to the barrel. This tends to be one of the gunkiest parts of the gun, so we're gonna give it a really good cleaning. I start by wetting a cleaning patch with some gun cleaner, then thread that patch through my cleaning rod. You can also use a boar snake in lieu of the cleaning rod if you prefer. Going from the chamber end, I work the cleaning rod through the barrel a few times to loosen any grime and buildup. After I think I've gotten it, I remove the dirty patch and replace it with a clean one. And I'm gonna run that through again. If it comes out clean, we move on to the exterior. If it's still dirty, I give it another pass with a moistened cleaning patch until it's clean. To clean the exterior of the barrel, I'm gonna wipe it down with a wet cleaning patch, then go back over it with a dry one. I'm gonna do this until it comes up clean. If you need to use a nylon bristle brush to release some buildup or free up some dirt, feel free to do so. Once it's clean, I'm gonna give it a pass with another dry cleaning cloth and go ahead and set it aside. Now we're on to the slide. I'm gonna really concentrate on the rails here since they tend to see the most abuse. I'm gonna use a combination of my cleaning patches and the nylon bristle brush to really get in there and work out any dirt. Once I've confirmed this area is clean with my handy dry patch test, I'm gonna tilt the slide up so that the muzzle is facing down and brush the breech face. We're doing this so we don't get loose particles in the firing pin. Once we're finished, take a clean dry patch and wipe down all the areas. While I'm cleaning my slide, I'm gonna take this opportunity to also look for areas that need some extra loving, as well as any area that might need repair, like bulging areas or cracks. If you see something like that, it's best to go ahead and schedule an appointment with a certified gunsmith to get that fixed. We move on to our frame. Visually inspect it for any problem areas or dirty spots that need cleaning. Wipe it down with a slightly dampened cloth to remove any hard to remove dirt and take a clean dry patch and go back over those areas. And that, my friends, is it for cleaning. We can now move on to lubrication. Basic rule of thumb here is that if there is any metal on metal contact, you're going to want to lubricate it. But don't get too willy-nilly with the lube. A little goes a long way here. The guide rod doesn't really need any lubrication, so we're gonna skip over that part and head straight to the barrel. I'm gonna add a little bit of gun oil to a cleaning patch, and I'm gonna attach it to my cleaning rod. I'm gonna give it a couple swipes through the barrel, 
Then I'm going to take a dry patch through to soak up any excess. From there, I'm going to work on the outside of my barrel in a similar way. I'm going to take a patch with oil and wipe down the exterior, concentrating on areas that come into contact with the slide. And then I'm going to wipe it down with a dry cloth again to remove any excess. With the barrel down, I'm heading over to the slide to give it a quick once over with some gun lube. I want to give particular attention to the rails. I'm going to spread just a drop of lube down the entirety of that area. Similarly, on the frame, I'm going to do the same thing on the rails, spreading a drop down the entirety to make sure that it's nice and lubed up. I also want to put lube where the trigger bar touches the connector at the right rear of the frame. And again, I'm going to finish this process off by taking a dry cleaning patch and wiping up any excess. That's pretty much it in terms of lubrication. So now it's time to reassemble. So I'm going to start by dropping my barrel back into the slide. I'm going to pop that guide rod back into the slide area. And then with my left hand, I'm going to guide my slide back onto the frame's rails, pulling the slide all the way to the rear. The slide lock should engage it and secure it in place. From there, I'm gonna rack my Glock a few times. I'm gonna wipe up any excess gun oil that might happen to appear during this process. I'm also going to do a trigger function test. I'm gonna first test the trigger safety, making sure the gun's trigger cannot engage unless that trigger safety is pulled. Once my Glock passes all my function tests, that's it. We're done. We have a clean spick and span Glock ready to go back to the range. Well guys, that brings us to the end of this gun cleaning adventure. Thanks for hanging out with me while I made my Glock 19 look nice and new. Can't wait to take it to the range again and dirty her up once more. Make sure you drop me a line in the comments. Say hi, I always like to hear what you guys have to say. Also make sure to like, share, and subscribe to guns.com so you can stay up to date on all of our good gun content. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.